I am Andy Hunt, I work at Wolfram Research, and my talk is about Wolfram Presenter Tools. <clears throat> this talk is about Wolfram Presenter Tools, and um, of course the irony of making a presentation with presenter tools, this kind of thing. Um, presenter Tools was first released in Mathematica 11.3, and uh, with version 12, there's been a lot of updates, especially in the back end with uh, speed. I don't know if anyone have, has used it in 11.3. Um, it was a little sluggish with typing. Uh, with version 12, that's pretty much gone away. A lot of good uh, uh, dynamic improvements. Um, so just kind of an introduction. So. This will be probably quick. <laughs> um, just what we'll be covering today, what is Presenter Tools, I'll demo some features, talk about the future plans, um, a few implementation details, which are great for developers. And then um, I'm still kind of hungry, so if anyone wants to go to lunch, that would be great. Um, what is Presenter Tools? It's pretty, I mean, the name kind of says it all. It's an uh, authoring toolkit that helps you author a presentation as well as present a notebook um, in a, whether it's in a situation like this where you're presenting to using projectors and, or whether you're creating uh, video, little Camtasia videos for uh, YouTube or whatever. Um, it'll help you do quite a bit of that. Some of the features, uh, responsive content scaling. Uh, we have new themes, style sheets, palettes, author notes, which are uh, a really good feature <laughs> for me especially, that you can type notes in your notebook, your presentation notebook. You can type notes to yourself, and then as you're presenting, they don't show on the screen, but they show uh, for you as the presenter so that you can remind yourself or say, don't forget to talk about version 12 speed of dynamic. Uh, more things, uh, configurable keyboard controls, previous next, you can assign to different keystrokes. Um, uh, lots of different modes of editing. You can turn on and off different window elements, your window size, optional, uh, on and on. Uh, copy and paste, slide, slide, copy, paste. Um, no, not today. Ah, um, not today, but um, this is, so this notebook was created with presenter tools. I used it as the authoring. Um, some of the features as in, presentation mode, which I'm doing now, uh, in the upper right corner, there's a menu. Uh, it shows, you can use the menu to navigate if you want to, as well as keyboard, uh, but you can choose different options. There's the option for, if you like the standard navigation bar up at the top, Let's see if I can do this, look at the same time. Um, the outline, which is kind of what you're saying, which is a feature that uh, we will have, not today, but in the future. Um, there is an outline palette. You can show your thumbnails, create uh, you know different size. But this is something where one would grab slide four, move it to slide nine, reorder, et cetera. Um, not today, but yes, that's coming in a, in a feature that I certainly like myself. Um, so in the palette, you have, or the menu, you have in presentation, view presentation controls, this dealing with multiple 
full screen. Um, you can choose which key does your first, previous, next, and presentation, which is helpful uh, by default. Your arrow keys, left and right arrow, is what will uh, navigate you through your slides. So I'm pressing right arrow, traversing the slides. You can change that, of course. Um, so let's we can get out of this, and I'll start demoing some of the real nice features. Okay, so um, in Mathematica, new, I guess you can't see this. So file new, presenter notebook, brings up a chooser where you can choose different themes. We have all these different themes that you can choose, structural, you know, whether you want flush left, flush right, center, all these different structural looks, as well as the color variations. Optionally, for any of these, optionally you can choose a font set or a color set that you like more than the default. Down below is a little preview on what it would look like with the choices that you've made. You can choose whether or not to pre-fill your presentation when, you're, when you click choose. Pre-fill your presentation with content so that you can kind of see what we anticipate you would use it. Or you can just start with a blank notebook, which uh, we'll do now because uh, I, vanilla is my favorite ice cream, so we'll do the straight vanilla. Uh, when you choose create, you get this. We, uh, is that big enough? Yeah, okay. So uh, when you start a new presentation, you get this. And at the top, you get a new toolbar, which has your uh, inserting new slides. You can insert styled cells, your basic formatting commands, whether you want, what font choices you want, bullet, italic, et cetera. Your window size is one of the toolbar menus. So if, you're, if you know that you're going to present at a certain ratio, you can choose so that you're starting to format your talk using the ratio that you will be using on your talk. Uh, and there's a menu for different window elements if you want to turn off and on different elements. Um, so you can use the keyboard commands to insert, of course, just like any notebook. Uh, but there is also your styled menu so these are section cells. So I do slide one, I can do keyboard command, I do another section cell. I like sections more than titles. It's my choice. A lot of people like different styles for different headings in their talk. Everything's there. You can use whatever you like. It's perfectly up to you. Are the same. Are the same as in a default notebook. So it's the same across them all. So as I'm creating this, I'm noticing right now, since I'm not, since I'm not using title, I'm using section, that the font size is going to be too small for people back there to see on a normal presentation, although these are gigantic. So you can probably see these over at Walgreens. Um, so we can use the font. Um, scaling to increase the font size to something that would be readable in the back rows. If we like this as a heading, we can also do uh, you know italic, whatever we would like to see as your heading for your slides. And one really nice feature about presenter tools is that you have all these buttons and 
and whatnot to, to format your text. But now if you like what you see, once I've changed options, let's see if I can use this. So up at the top, by uh, there's a little button there that's lit, highlighted. Uh, once I've changed options on a cell, that light goes off, goes on, sorry, that it asks you, do you want to apply the changes you've just made to that cell? Do you want to apply it back to the style sheet? So if you're applying it back to the style sheet, then you can use that all those same options the next time you're using that style. So it's a embedded style sheet. So it's the style sheet that's associated with this notebook. So it'll embed the style sheet into the notebook. So if I click, uh, if I click yes, then I get a dialog that shows me the options that I've applied to that cell. And I can choose whether or not I want all of them or which ones to be applied back to the style sheet. I'll go ahead and choose them all. And so what's happened is that all those options are now in that style for section in the style sheet. So the second um, cell, second section cell, automatically inherits the options from the style sheet. So it too appears the same as the first. And if I unformat all the options that I've applied to that cell are now gone, have been removed from the cell, and are in the style sheet. It's all. So if I create another section from the menu or type, whichever, it doesn't matter. Let's do slide three. Then I get the same as before. Um, if I <laughs> if I want to tweak it a little bit more and say, well, there's just not enough space or the alignment. I really like it aligned right. Well, that's too far to the right. So now I want to nudge it a little bit. So there's these uh, nudging. Uh, buttons which dynamically change your cell margins for your cell. So you can move your content around the screen um, similar to a PowerPoint-ish presentation and then you can apply those this dialogue again you can apply those back to the style sheet and um, they're gone from that one and uh, didn't get picked up. Okay. Well, so uh, authoring notes which are very, um, are very good for <laughs> myself as well as others probably. So you can, from the menu, <laughs> doing too many monitors here, sorry. So you can, from the menu up here, you can choose side note to create one of these, or you can choose side code. Um, I'll just copy this, paste it below here. Um, say, well, this is another note to myself, and I'll choose and I'll create another one. Um, and say, yes, I'm still, Angry. Angry. If you want to put code, we'll see what this looks like in a minute. 
paste some code in and evaluate. Now, so I have a, I have three slides with side notes, notes to myself, but right now there's no, if I say, uh, if I click uh, present, it goes full screen, one slide, because there's no markers, no divisions yet, except for the one. I can end up at the top on the right of the button. There's a menu which you can use to show your different modes if you want the slideshow but not full screen, which I personally like more. You can do that so you, it's the same visual appearance, just not full screen. And if I can grab the end here. Oh, I can't, yeah, there we go. So the responsiveness. Your kind of single sourcing. Sorry? Um, so you have the choice at the top. I can say end presentation. So on the button itself, on the right, there's a little arrow, and you can choose uh, slideshow presentation, scrolling presentation. So slideshow is what I chose. So it's the same as the full screen, but not. Right. So. Um, I do want them slides. The first one is a slide. Right. The slide one is a slide is okay, the slide, slide two is not a slide. Right. right. So I need dividers, right? So, um, which is a great point. So what I want to do is I want to put slide dividers and markers so that slide two is actually a slide and not just a regular. So if I go to uh, slide break defaults, the button at the top, I can click, I get a dialogue that says, um, which cell style would I like a slide break to appear above? So I like sections, not titles so much, so I'll do sections, and then I'll say set. So then what happens here is I've added uh, slide breaks above each of my section cells. So I can choose whatever style I want. I can choose um, input to be my slide break style. And this will automatically insert them for you. You can, by hand, go through and insert them yourself. This is just kind of a, something to get you up and running quicker, especially if you're going from a, if you already have a notebook and you want a slideshow out of it, then you can go through and say, okay, I've got 45 section cells. I want 45 slides. I do that and go, and then it's already composed for you. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of a it's not magnification, but it's just a, a temporary. Um, you can use magnification if you like. The kind of the hope is that as you're composing your slide, um, what I can do now, and I, four minutes. Uh, what I can do now is is through the style palette, which is one of the menu items, um, style tools, style palette, is I can go ahead and increase things if I want for on-site, if I want someone to, to surely be able to see something. Uh, that, that kind of that zoom is not necessary. Mm -hmm. Mm 
responsiveness kind of uh, sure. Right. Um, all notebooks have magnification settings. You can go ahead and, as a temporary, you can go, well, you know, I spent uh, this much time making the talk, but I got to the place and, you know, this is not big enough. A quick fix, like you're saying, is to just pop the magnification um, in the menus. Magnification is still there. This is just a notebook like any other notebook. Quick fixes. Um, if you like, uh, through the option inspector, <laughs> too many clicks. Uh, true. True, but I, I don't disagree. Uh, so I've added these notes to myself. Um, as well as a plot. So um, as I'm showing the audience, so here's, the, here's what the audience is seeing, here's what I'm seeing on my, um, on my screen. I can go back to slide one. I have, oh, some note to myself. I need to talk about you know, getting a Snickers after I get out of here. Oh, there's this equation I need to do. So if I, if I click, then the equation is pasted into the notebook. If I, if I right click, then it's pasted and evaluated. So you can use these for various, uh, very helpful step by step, or if you're talking, um, uh, uh, just lots of different <laughs> instances where you would like to uh, have more of a narrative and wanting to paste things from your notes into without sitting here and typing um, like I did before. I have a, another computer here I'm mirroring. So I've got, I've got, this is one screen, I've got another screen here. It's not, not mirror, I mean it's uh, extended. So what you're seeing here is not what I'm seeing here. It's, I'm seeing a whole different thing here. So I have a little screen, but yeah, sure. But that's kind of one of the, one of the features is that you can um, present, have your notes and do it all at the same time. Correct, correct. So uh, in, in, I mean, I can, Here's my, uh, I can show you right now. So these are notes I made to myself for my talk. I'm um, talking about the chooser dialogue, um, what to choose, et cetera. Um, the notebook itself. Uh, back here, whichever screen that was on. Um, I don't know how to get back to that other screen. Well, the original notebook is, is it on a secondary? Um, well, anyway, apologize. <laughs> So, uh, right, so these are um, the original notebook presentation that I had. I have 
lots of notes to myself in it, just like I, I showed before. These, this is the uh, presenter note, side note uh, to myself that I made for my presentation. So it's showing on this computer. The presentation is on, sorry, that back. Um, I guess we're out of time already. It's kind of fast. So uh, lots more there. Uh, presenter, uh, wolfram.com slash presenter tools, lots of information. Um, if you want to uh, uh, connect with me, I'm here and around, talk to you more about your presentations or how to, how to best use presenter tools. Uh, it's a great feature, lots of documentation coming, lots of uh, more examples, more in version 12, still some bugs, obviously. But uh, um, lots more features and coming as well. So, thank you. Appreciate it.